A brand new flagship has just hit the market, the Guoguan Yixiao Pro. There's no doubt that it's a fantastic 3x3, but before you pick it up, here are 5 of the most important things that you should know. Hey YouTube, it's me Spotty. Let's get straight into it with number 1, just some basics. The Yuxiao Pro is a 56mm cube and weighs 85 grams or there just about. It's also $20 US or just under 25 Australian at speedcube.com.au, placing it right alongside other flagships like the GTS 2 or the Volk 3. And hey, if by the end of this video you're thinking, yeah, this 3x3 would be perfect for me, then I will have a link to this puzzle below where you can use the code yt.spotty at checkout for 10% off your order. But moving right along to number 2, how does this compare to the V1? Well, other than the fact that they're both excellent cubes performance-wise, they're very different. I mean, looking at the mechanism, there are a number of pretty noticeable differences. The biggest difference that I can see is that the holes in the corner that made the cube feel super light and airy is filled up on the V2, and of course the squared off corners are now not square. Even with the rounded corners though, corner twisting is not a problem if that was something you were worried about. But yeah, if you like the turning quality or feel of the original, then there's no guarantee that you'll like this version. The feel, stability, and speed are all pretty different, among other things. Which brings me to number 3, the feel and stability. This cube has got a decently light turn, but it's much heavier compared to the V1. It feels solid and compact in your hands, and fluidity is pretty good. The turning is also ever so bumpy, but mostly buttery smooth when turning slowly, and when turning more quickly, you get a bit of a crispy but still buttery feel. The stability is also good. I would say it's more stable than the GTS 2, but less than the Volk 3. So the good stability and real satisfying turning make this cube, I think, a real pleasure to solve. You can have a listen to the turning now. Okay, number 4, the speed. The speed is the last main thing that differs slightly to the original. While the original was super uncontrollable out of the box, this cube came very controllable, almost to the point where it felt slightly sluggish. I personally think the V2 got the speed so right. Especially if you're a new cuber, maybe getting your first or second speed cube, you're not going to need any lube to make this controllable right out of the box, unlike almost every other 3x3 coming out nowadays that come crazily crazily fast right out. If you're finding it too slow, then just wipe out some of that factory lube, because there's a lot in there. So this cube isn't the fastest out there. If you're holding a Volk, for example, you can feel a difference in resistance and overall speed when turning. However, unless you really prefer that completely effortless and quick feeling, the speed isn't slow enough to be a problem. And finally, number 5, accessories. Now this is probably the least important thing out of everything that I've talked about in this video, but I included it because I'm a huge sucker for useful accessories, and I really loved how this cube came with 3. The first is just a cube stand, which is pretty standard stuff, but the second and third are something that you don't really see with most 3x3s. So the Yuxiao Pro comes with tensioning tools, which are helpful but don't completely eliminate tensioning problems, and then there's this mini screwdriver, which I think is an awesome little tool that you can bring on the go, and should work to tension most puzzles perfectly. These accessories aren't the biggest deal in the world, but if you're undecided on two really great 3x3s, and the only difference is you get cool extras with one and none on the other, then I know which one I'd pick. So yeah, overall I really like how this puzzle moves, and while I don't think it'll become my main, it sits perfectly on par with the three other flagships that we've got. I think this cube will be best suited for people with a slightly more aggressive turnstile, or those who like to spam TPS and that. But yeah, a real contender for the best cube on the market as long as you don't need a crazy fast cube, with a solid feeling crispy smooth turn that is a pleasure to solve on and has a lot of potential. Again, I will have links below if you're interested. Other than that though, thank you to speedcube.com.au for sending this guy out to test. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.